How's it going, everyone? Jay Sannon here with USSportsBonus.com, getting you ready for the quarterfinals, the night session of the ATP Toronto Masters 1000 tournament, the National Bank Open, of course, formerly known as the Rogers Cup. Here, we're going to get you ready for Daniil Medvedev taking on Hubert Hurkacz, a rematch of a match that took place in Wimbledon, a classic five-setter between the two. Of course, Medvedev getting out in front twice in that match, but a rain delay in the fourth set gave her catch a chance to regroup. He came back and won in five sets. Of course, he made it to the semifinals of the tournament, beat Roger Federer there as well, did the Polish number one. I think we see a much different story here today. I have Medvedev winning in straight sets, around minus 130, depending on where you shop. Medvedev, a much better hard court player than he is a grass court player. I don't think what we saw between these two guys is very predictive as to what we'll see here today. Of course, Medvedev, the much better defensive player in this matchup. And post-Wimbledon, Hubert Hurkacz just not all that impressive over the last few weeks. Of course, he got knocked out in the second round of the Olympic tournament in Tokyo, and he hasn't done much here in Toronto despite getting where he's reached in this event. He had a walkover over Kei Nishikori. He had a first round bye as well. And then against Nicholas Basilashvili, Basilashvili served 39%. 39% of his first serves in play. Medvedev's certainly going to do better than that. And by the way, even with that 39% mark for Basilashvili, Basilashvili made her catch sweat the whole way. He won the first set off of her catch. Her catch wins the second gets up a break in the third, and is nearly broken back multiple times late in the match, that's not going to fly against a player like Daniil Medvedev. So you can talk about the revenge angle all you want, but I think just in terms of the quality on the court, on this surface, Daniil Medvedev, far and away the better player going to get the job done to get to the semifinals here in Toronto. Of course, for more on this match, be sure to check out our written preview at ussportsbonus.com. Until next time, Jay Sannon saying see you later. Good luck on your tennis wagers this weekend.